Okay, now let's do question number 24, students. It says solve the Bernoulli's differential equation given by minus y plus 2xy prime minus 10x cubed y is a power of 5 is equal to 0. The students, this doesn't look as if it is a Bernoulli's one, but applying certain mathematical operation, you see, or simplification, we can have a Bernoulli's differential equation, okay? Uh, directly written in terms of the one we uh, studied in the classroom. So look what comes next is the solution. So minus y plus 2xy prime minus 10x cubed y is a power of 5 equal to 0 can be written in terms of this one. What I did here is I just have 2xy prime as it is and minus y is again written as it is but the one you see written here has been taken to the right and it is 10x cubed y is a power of 5. So remember the coefficient of y prime in our discussion was 1 so let's divide both the whole by 2x. So as you are dividing the whole by 2x look y prime you see minus 1 over 2x can come as can be shown here minus 1 over 2x can come so when you divide 10x cubed by 2x 5x square y is a power of 5 follows look this is directly similar to a Bernoulli's equation written inside the classroom the coefficient of y which has been treated as p of x is negative 1 over 2x and the one after having the equality sign was considered to be what f of x so your f of x is 5x squared so you see uh, from the derived uh, formula we derived in the classroom for a Bernoulli's equation of this kind, y prime plus p of x, y is equal to f of x, y is a power of r. The general solution is y is a power of 1 minus r, 1 over i into c plus 1 minus r, integral of fi, fi dx, where i is the integrating factor, and it is calculated by e is a power of 1 minus r, integral of px dx. And we knew here that p of x is the coefficient of y, which is negative 1 over 2x, and f of x is 5x squared. So having this, let's determine now, this is a solution using this formula. First, we need to determine what i is going to be. So your i is, is a power of 1 minus r, integral of px dx. So your r is now known, it is 2. So is a power of 1 minus 2, integral of, your p is negative 1 over 2x, as I wrote here. So look, this 1 minus 2 makes negative. So negative, negative cancel each other. Then 1 over 2 can be taken out. E is a power of 1 over 2. Integral of 1 over x dx can come. And we knew that this is e is a power of 1 over 2. Integral of 1 over x dx is ln x, right? So this is b e is a power of ln of. Look, this 1 over 2 can come up and radical x follows. So look, this is the same as radical x. So now your i is obtained. Look, if once you determine i, you need to determine the integral of what? If i here too, okay? Because i is, you see, appearing inside this integral. So how do we determine that integral of i? This integral of i can be obtained by using this one. Look, students, your f is f5x squared, and your i is radical x. So 5x squared radical x dx can come. So 5 as a constant, it can be taken out. Then radical x is x to the power of 1 over 2. So the bases are the same. We can take x and add 2 and 1 over 2. 2 it will turn to be 5 over 2 divided by 5 over 2. But instead of writing that uh, 5, uh, over, 5 over 2 plus, yeah, you, you can have x to the power of 5 over 2 here because 2 plus 1 over 2 makes 5 over 2. Now let's integrate this one, students. Look, 5 is here. So as you are integrating this one, what comes here is you need to add 1 here. So 5 over 2 plus 1 makes 7 over 2. So this 7 over 2 is going to come here as denominator, but we can multiply it by, we can consider that as 2 over 7. We can take the reciprocal one. So now 5 times 2 comes to be 10, 10 over 7, x to the power of 7 over 2. Now look, the integral of fi is determined, as you see. The integral of fi is 10 over 7, x to the power of 7 over 2. So everything is now obtained, a matter of substituting there. So the general solution is going to be then, as you see, y is a power of 1, 1 minus r, 1 over c plus 1 over i, c plus 1 minus r integral of fi. So we knew what r is, it is 2. 1 minus 2 is minus 1, so y is the power of minus 1 is equal to, now the integrative factor is radical x, x is the power of 1 over 2, so bring that up, x is the power of minus 1 over 2 can come, into c, 1 minus 2 is negative, so you are going to have negative here, then the integral of f i dx is already determined, it is 10 over 7, x is the power of 7 over 2, here I wrote. So the general solution will be this one, as you see. You see, students, the general solution can be y is the power of minus 1 times x is the power of minus 1 over 2 into c minus 10 over 7 
exaparosamide. But students, you can also write this explicitly. You can also make this like this. This is 1 over y, as you know. This is 1 over y. So the general solution can be y is equal to 1 over this expression, student. 1 over this expression. If you want to simplify, you can simplify again and write your answer in a simplified form. But no problem. The final solution can be written in terms of this. Now what comes next is, you see the next uh, question. And what is that? The next question is about this one. Say solve the Bernoulli's differential equation given by this. Again, leak, this one looks as if it is not a Bernoulli's, but we can find, we can change this to Bernoulli's form. And to do that, you see what we can do with this. Look, let me divide the whole by dx. When you divide the whole by dx, student, look, this expression will be free from dx, so dy over dx is going to come. And that is y prime, as you see. You see? No more dx here. You see? dy over dx can come, so you don't need to have this. As we discussed in the classroom, the coefficient of y prime must be 1. So let me divide, let me multiply the whole by negative. So as you are doing that, you see you are going to come across with this. y prime plus negative x times y is equal to x cubed y squared. And what is the coefficient of y? This negative x, you could so you can treat this as p of x, and here you see the exponent for y is 2, so you may take r to be what number 2, and your f of x can be taken to be what x cubed. So clearly, this is a Bernoulli's differential equation, so we can directly apply you see the Bernoulli's differential equation formula in order to find the answer. Okay, solution in order to determine the solution, you can directly apply what the formula. So the general solution, as I tried to explain earlier, is determined by using this one, where i is, is a part of 1 minus r integral of px dx. So let's first find i, because i is appearing here inside. This is the integral as well as outside the bracket, as can be shown. So we need to determine what i is. So your i can be determined now by using what, student? Your i can be determined now by using this one. E is a part of 1 minus r integral of px dx, which is e is a part of your r is 2. So e is a part of minus uh, 1 e minus x dx because your px is negative 1. So this is e is a power of x squared over 2 because the integral of x dx is x squared over 2 as you see. So now, look, we need to determine what integral of f i is. So in order to determine the integral of f i, we knew what f is. f is what student? x cubed. So you directly use x cubed. And then i is e is a power of x squared as you see, e is a power of x squared over 2 dx is used. Now, let you use integration by substitution. Let you make this to be u. So if u is x squared over 2, the derivative of x squared over 2 will be what student? x dx. So you can make x dx to be du. You see? du. But now look what happened here. x cubed can be written as x squared times x. So what is x squared if you assign u to be x squared over 2? It will be what students? 2u. So 2 can be taken out, then you see e is a power of u, e is a power of u, then you see uh, du can come. So you can have this one. And then applying integration by power, this is going to be 2 times e is a power of u into u minus 1. But we knew what u is. u is directly taken from this one. Where is that? Here it is, x squared over 2. So 2 times e is a power of x squared over 2 into u is x squared over 2 and minus 1 can come. So now what is determined? If i is determined. So if you determine if i now, the result can easily be obtained the following way. So the general solution now can be written as you see student. Look, the general solution can be now written as using this formula. You need, we knew what r is. It is 2. So 1 minus 2 is negative 1. y is a power of minus 1 is equal to e is a power of. Now look. This was 1 over i, but 1 over i is the same as 1 over this expression. But we can write this as e is a power of negative, what? x squared over 2 into, now, a constant c comes here. And here it is r2, so 1 minus 2 makes negative 1. So negative, what? Uh, of the negative of this expression, but this expression is already determined. So have that as it is, as you see. So this is the general solution. So the general solution can be written in terms of this one, or if you want, you can also simplify this in the following sense. Why is the power of minus 1 is equal to, look, I can multiple this to each of these two terms, these terms, so c times e is the power of minus x squared over 2, and again, multiplying these two, the bases are the same, so we can add the exponents. The exponents make 0, because the sum of the two makes 0, e is the power of 0 is 1, so you are having only minus 2, right? You are having minus 2, so minus 2 into x squared over 2 minus 1 can come, right? 
So here, negative comes here. You see, minus 2x squared over 2 can follow. Negative 2 times negative 1 makes positive 2. So we can have this one. So as a least common multiple, we are having here 1, here also 1. So we can take 2 as a least common multiple. 2 divided by 1 is 2. 2 times c is a power of minus x squared over 2 can be. 2 times c is a power of minus x squared over 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And then 1 times this is minus 2x squared. Again, 2 divided by 1 is 2. 2 times 2 makes 4. So look, students, this is 1 over y. This is 1 over y. So as you are taking one as as you as you are taking the reciprocal of 1 over y, you do have y, right? So when you take the reciprocal of this, you need to take also the reciprocal of this one, okay? So the final output can be written in terms of this one. Look, this 1 over y, the one you are having here, has been reciprocated being y, right? And here you need to reciprocate this two. Look, throughout all this you are having two, two. 2 as what a common one so we can simplify this this by 2 and then finally we can have c is a power of minus x square over 2 minus x square plus 2 you see because when you divide this by 2 you see it, you do have 1 here 1 it is cancelled again here minus 1 is going to come minus x square is going to come here to come follow so when you take the reciprocal the result is going to be uh, as you see so this is how you can what find you know solve uh, differential equations which are of Bernoulli's kind okay